Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And so, welcome to my tutorial this evening. So, you might be wondering, what does Bobby have in store for me? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. Uh, we're going to be showing the PS1 a little bit of love this evening, guys. And I'll be showing you how you can play Burnt Disc. Okay, I'll be showing you how to play burnt games. Oh, we can say that more in a legal way here. Um, I'll be showing you guys how you can play your burnt PS1 backups, backups on your PS1 system unit using the Unirom Boot Disk 8.0. So, what are you going to be needing, guys? I will show you. First of all, you'd be needing the good old PlayStation 1 system. Okay. You'll need any cables to, uh, you know, get her going and uh, just play it on TV. Whatever that may be, guys. I don't know. Uh, you're going to need your one and only PlayStation 1 controller. And you're going to need... A memory card preferably nothing on it guys uh, if it does have something on it make sure that it's something that is not important because it will be erased okay it will be erased in this process okay good deal all right and you're gonna need some uh, CDR discs like I have here I bought these the other day they work great do not use CD rewritables they will not work I've tried now that we're on the same page, let's hop on over to the computer here, guys. Waste no more time and get to the good stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are at the uh, computer portion of our tutorial. Uh, this shouldn't take long whatsoever, guys. There are three things really you're gonna need in this tutorial, and that is some image burning software, uh, this PS1 Unirom boot disk 8.0 and actually a game. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you where to get games. Uh, you just have to Google that. But I'm going to show you where to get the uh, image burning software and the Unirom boot disk. So we're going to go over to Google. This is uh, image burning software. It's called Image Burn, hands down. One of the best image burning software that I know of. I mean, I've never had any issues with it all the years that I've been using it so I'll be using this in this tutorial so I, I'm this is the uh, link that I'm throwing out to you guys okay the Unirom boot disk is right here you just scroll down and you'll be downloading the zip file here if it doesn't show up guys like if it looks like this just hit your assets right here and it will pull that window down so you can download it and you're good to go pretty much all right so let's go ahead and we'll open up image burn right here okay so we are dealing with images so what we're going to do we're going to go over here to write image file to disk and you want to open that up guys and what we're going to do we're going to direct this software to the unirom boot disk which i already have done that it should pop right up and it did so what we're going to do you want to click on the q file guys click on that and hit open okay Make sure you have your uh, CDR disc. Uh, do not, like I said before, do not use CD rewritables. They won't work. CDRs are the only ones to my knowledge that work. And I leave the write speed at 10x. Uh, I've heard that you can go up to 16, but I also heard that the lower the number here, uh, it just helps with less errors or something like that. You get less errors in the write speed if you have it low. So I go with 10x, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So do that, and then you come over here and just hit burn. I've already got it burned, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but that's what you do, and you're all set to go. Now for the game, now you can go out and you can, um, I'll just go to desktop, 
I'll go into my game here. You're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna hit, click on the Q file guys, hit open. I just leave it at 10X and then it just hit burn. Make sure it's a CDR. That's absolutely it guys. No big deal. Okay. So now we'll just head on over to the PS1 guys and we'll get down to the last part of our tutorial here. All right, see you there guys. Okay guys, so here we are at the PS1 part of our tutorial, which is actually the last part of our tutorial. Yay! So, the, so what we need to make sure we do guys, the first thing, we need to make sure we have our PS1 memory card plugged in to port number two on our console here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna make sure our controller is plugged up to port number one on our console here. Just like so. Okay. Now we, we wanna open this bad boy up. Now since we are dealing with swapping out disc guys we want to make sure we keep this lid here open so if you see here in the back guys there's an arm right here so when you close the the lid it pushes down on a button here in the back so what we're going to do to hold that button down with the dip with the lid open is we got a piece of tape here and a screwdriver so what i want to do i'm going to hold this tape over that button there in the back I'm gonna take this screwdriver, I'm gonna push down this tape right there on that on that button there. And then we'll smash this tape around flat around the edges here. That way it keeps that doggone button there smashed down. Okay? Now what we wanna do is take our PS1 game disc. You can use either game you want. I'm using Blaster Master here. We want to put it in the PlayStation 1. Now here's the main game plan. I want to show you guys uh, what, what, what we're doing here. Okay, so we're going to be swapping out discs. When I hit this power button here, guys, this disc will spool up. It, it'll be spinning slow. And you're going to have a, a white screen appear on your TV, which is uh, has a Sony logo, which I think is the BIOS or something. I'm not sure what it was. But it's a white screen with a, with a Sony logo. Shortly after, this disc will spool up, guys, real, real fast. Okay? And then you'll have a black screen on your TV with a PlayStation logo. That, guys, you need to watch your disc because it will slow down. Once it slows down, you want to replace it with your burnt Unirom disc here. Okay, and I've even got a piece of tape on mine so you can actually see the speed of the disc because once you swap this, this disc out with this one right here, this one will spool up real fast. Okay, once it slows down, you're going to replace it again with this uh, official game disc here. Once you do that, you're, you're your uni your your uni rom boot disc menu will pop up on the on the screen here and you will change this disc out once more with your uni rom disc and that is it so let's go ahead and do this guys if you need to rewind that and, and listen to what i said go ahead okay so but here we go i'll as i do this i'll explain what it's doing so Okay, here we go. It's spooling up. It's, it's slow right now. Here's our logo right here. It will spool up real quick. There it goes. Black screen. It slowed down. Replace it with Unirom. It speeds up real quick. Wait on it to slow down. There it goes. Replace it again with the official disc. Now, now you now you get the Unirom menu up there, and you replace it, and you're good, guys. Now I will, I will hold this thing here up, okay, just like that. And what we're going to do now is hit the X button. You got your menu here. What you're going to do is scroll down to Install, which is the second option. You hit the X button. 
The third option here, install free PSX boot to mem card. So we can go down to the third option here, hit your X button, go to auto install, and make sure guys you, it says memory card one or memory card two. Make sure you hit memory card two. Hit your X button, and now it will start um, loading all the files from your disk to the memory card okay so we'll let it do its thing there guys uh, uh, I'll just I'll just skip over this part here it's gonna take a minute uh, it is only like one megabyte or so or something like that I think it might be a gig I don't know but anyway it takes a minute so just hold on a second Okay, so after it's done, guys, it says right here, all good. Okay, so now what we want to do is hit the X button. And we, we can actually just take the disc out now. What we'll do, we'll actually just uh, shut this thing off, take our disc out. And now we'll take our burnt disc, which had the Castlevania Chronicles on it. And we'll go ahead and get it out. Uh, what you want to do, guys, just go ahead and uh, take, take your uh, take your tape out. You don't need it anymore. Just go ahead and power up your PS1. Alright, so what you want to do is just hit X to open our memory card up. And as you can see, it's, load, it's loading the, uh, the menu up from your memory card. Okay, and there we go. What you want to do now, hit, hit the X button. What you want to do is go to the option that says boot CD. And then you want to hit X button on play. And then you, what you want to do Put your disc in with your burnt game. Close the lid. And now it says disc state spin up. And so now, now it says it's unlocked. And here we go. It should, uh, there it goes guys. There's our burnt game there. I don't have a memory card in slot one. There's no memory card in slot one. Maybe I should put one in there. One second, guys. Okay, let's see what it does now. Okay, so there's no save data in load operations. Hit yes. And there we go, guys. All right. Good deal. And that's all there is to it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped y'all out in some way or another in playing backups on your uh, PS1. This is probably the, uh, the easiest way to do it, to tell you the truth, and the most convenient because other ways you have, a, you have to have a certain disk and you have to have save files. This way, you don't have that, so this is the best way. So, there you go, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys on... The next one. Oh, yeah.